Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. And on tap tonight, it's the Golden State Warriors going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And from the sidelines tonight, we have David Aldridge. And with the postseason fast approaching, Coach, how much does playoff seeding weigh on a coach's mind? For teams in the middle of the pack, it means a lot. The difference between a six seed and a three seed is enormous. Did you try to match up who you might go against because it was a more favorable matchup? Without question, coaches think about which teams do we match up better with. The opponent just may not have a guy that you can't guard. You have to use a double team, which you don't really want to do because you'll leave someone else open, but you can't stop them one-on-one. -on -one. So maybe you bypass that team and hope you wind up playing another team in that first round. Great explanation. Inside, it's all about agility for Floyd. That's how he finds his way to a close-range look. Here's Robertson driving the lane. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You got to continue to fight through. And coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Here's Moncrief. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. Excellent concentration on the take that time. Moncrief not allowing the physical defense to bother his shot. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Short. His last outing, he had 18 points. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Plenty of game left, but that, I think, is a good omen for him. I agree. When you hit a mid-range, Jay, it opens the rest of the floor. Here's Moncrief. Warriors with the rebound. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. Driving inside. Pass to Floyd. Some nice passing by Golden State here. To the paint. Drives it from nine. Short, no good. So for Milwaukee, their last game, a win against the Supersonics. Johnson, a wide open look. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. You can count on Marcus Johnson, a reliable scorer who knows when to shoot. Williams, a screen on Robertson. Here's Floyd. Warriors the rebound. Next foul. First personal foul. First team foul. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of the game. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Robertson. Some good scoring numbers for him right now, averaging 17 points a game. The pass to Lanier. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Loves to score. Lanier is huge threat inside. The Bucks shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Bob Lanier. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He 
He's off on the first. Second free throw, good. The Warriors have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Poked away, and it's stolen by Moncrief. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Johnson. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. How about the ferocious finish? Johnson not settling for the layup there. Warriors trail by 5. Floyd passes to Williams. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Short, covered by Johnson. Offensive rebound. Off with the layup. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. Robertson outside. Out to the right wing. Johnson kicks to Robertson. Just five to shoot. There's the triple. Kept alive. Lanier, the pass to Robertson. Here's Lanier. Another shot. No good off the back of the rim. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Bucks leading by five. Here's Maxwell. Oh, and it's off. They can't cash in on the break. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. Now here's Williams. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. For Milwaukee, they've gone 5-9 of nine from the field here in the first. Roberts in left side. Puts it up from 15. Rebound by Williams. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Here's Connor. Got it. Good job in the low post. Great find right there. Sleepy Floyd caught the defense sleeping that time. Pun intended. Robertson outside. Here's Johnson. That's in. Coming off the assist from Robertson. Johnson's got six. He has a particular set of skills, and they're very fun to watch. Floyd passes to Connor. Over Lanier. It's hauled in by Lanier. Lanier's got four rebounds now tonight. Moncrief dishes to Robertson. Johnson right side. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Well, you know, if you're playing Robertson to score, not a bad idea, but that means you're going to leave other guys open, and he'll find them. Here's Floyd. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. He gets it in there. Here's Robertson. Three-point lead. Down low, and the shot goes in from Lanier. Watch out for Lanier. He is a monster in the painted area. The war is shooting 42% to begin this game. Williams, a screen on Robertson. Here's Foy, covered by Robertson. Four on the shot clock. Here's Short. The shot will not fall. And Milwaukee the other way now. Well, I was really impressed with what they did defensively in that one. Getting stopped and really forcing their opponents into tough shots. Great communication on that end. They were rotating well and staying all over the shooters. Pass to four. Pope loose. Now here's Robertson. 
defense is right there. Tremendous combo play right there. Oh, just free basketball. Teammates clicking. Timeout called the Warriors. Warriors trail by seven. Here's Void, right wing. Short passes to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Golden State moving the ball around. Got him with the bump fake, but couldn't finish. Milwaukee leading by seven. Is it to Robertson? And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. One of the all-time greats and most versatile scores ever. Oscar Robertson showing you how easy it is for him to get to the line. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far Shoot for two. the Bucks. First one falls, and the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. No good on the second free throw. Warriors trail by eight. Here's Prots. He averages a bit over six points a game. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Bucks shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Robertson passes to Lister. Here's Bridgman. Archie Diacono kicks to Robertson. Shot from the wing. First personal foul. First team foul. Tressy's checked in for Milwaukee. Harrison comes in for Robertson. Here's Hampton. Howard setting the pick for Hampton. Trying to get something going. Milwaukee foul. Paul McKesson. Second personal foul. Second team foul. The Warriors have had two chances at the line already, making them both. 
two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Bucks leading by seven. Feeds it to Pressy. And the layup's good off the glass. Those were two tough points from Pressy. Taking some contact, still getting it to go. Screen by Howard. Packs the pass to Howard. Baseline jumper. And too long on the shot. I seriously doubt that was the shot that they were looking for right there. And the defense wants those type of shots. He played right into it. Bridgman's shot's good. Right from the start. They set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip. Doing an amazing job building this lead. Here's Brox. Rebounded by the Bucks. With well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Bukeski passes to Bridgman. They set the pick. Pass to Bukeski. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they've put it to good use. Now, here's Hampton. Over Harrison. Hampton misses. Bucks leading by 13. Bridgman the pass to Harrison. Pass to Pressy. Tries it from 19. It's rebounded by Lawson. The Warriors shooting only 28% here in the first. A shoddy game offensively for them so far. To the left wing. Howard with a screen on Pressy. Howard can't hit. The Bucks shooting it from their comfort zone so far. In this one, 57% for the field. Harrison scanning the floor. Pass to McKesson. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Early on, they built this lead on the power of paint points. Being aggressive in the paint can take a team out of a game early. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Mm, they're having a really hard time out there. Mm, you're right. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Third personal foul. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. At the line, Warriors. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Good on both. And it's Harrison with the ball for the Bucks. It's a 14-point game. Passes it to Pressy. 
104 left in the first. Five to shoot. Lays it up off the glass. Tressy's got his second basket of the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Howard setting the pick for Hampton. A rebound by Lister. Milwaukee leading by 16. 36 seconds left in the first quarter. To the middle. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Tressy's got six. And the fans in this building have been muted. Getting run over. They can feel their team getting run off the court. It's been all one side so far. Now, here's Brewer. No points in the game yet for him. Rots can't hit. Here's Bridgman. Plays it up and banks it in. How do you expand the lead? Increase it. It takes good play on both ends. Yeah, it's not just about buckets. Not just about stops. You need both. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We've got more in store for you right after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, we've seen the Bucs really take control here early. I like that the bench mob showed up early in this one, generating some valuable offense for this team. It's such a luxury to get that kind of production from your reserves, and it takes a lot of pressure off the starters. Mike, it seems that if anything's changed in the past few years, it's the flow of the game. You agree? Yeah, there's a lot more fluidity to NBA offenses. We're seeing better passing than ever before, and frankly, it makes for a more entertaining brand of basketball. Yeah, that sounds like Fratello basketball to me. That's something you really adhere to, don't you? If you play in the 80s, that's Fratello basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left them that much of a lane to work with. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Golden State moving the ball around. The 17-footer. Shot is good off the back rim and in. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Here's Archibald. His last outing, he had eight points. Here's Lanier. Inside, Maxwell. Oh, and it looks like Both that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Kudos for the effort, but he got there a little too late. And the Warriors making a change here. Williams has checked in. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Here's Brock. Eight points his last outing. The pass to Connor. Five on the clock. Here's Short. He can't hit that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. There's the lob to the hoop. You know, their offense has looked a little more tied together, more cohesive when compared to the oppositions, which is why they're shooting a better percentage. Yeah, and give the coaching staff credit for how they are guiding this team, getting the guys to run their plays. to Connor. Here's Prots. Passes to Short. Pulls from the top of the key. And they pick up two. Short's got four points this quarter. Bucks leading by 22. Here's Archibald. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That's tipped. He's got a clear path. Here's Short. Flushes it down to finish the break. Swooping in for the easy finish there. That's how you do it. He knew he had space and made sure to get the easy one. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Connor. 
And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. What time I'll call the Bucks. Well, an obvious situation to call the time out there. Coach is trying to break up this run. Maybe a break will disrupt the flow. Here's Johnson. Eight points for him. Here's Robertson. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Robertson's got his second bucket of the night. And that pass from Johnson was on the money. Gotta appreciate that selfless attitude. Rocks the pass to Connor. There's the pick. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lanier's got six rebounds in the game. Puts it up from 12. Johnson can't get it to go. Warriors trail by 20. Here's Connor. He trains the quick shot. He has six. Oh, man. Carving this defense to pieces with the drive. Well done. Robertson outside. He dishes it to Johnson. Six to shoot. Here's Bridgman. Offensive rebound, Bucks. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Second personal foul. First team foul. The Bucks have made three of five free throw attempts. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Next one. Boyd's checked in for the Warriors. The Bucks also with the sub. Moncrief's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Warriors trail by 20. On the wing, Williams. Now the pass to Connor. High post try. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. Defense backing off there, knowing the mid-ranger is a low percentage. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down.
the team first mindset of Marcus Johnson. What a catalyst. Great play there. On the wing, Williams. Get there, get there. Pass to Short. Shoots over Johnson. Short, no good. Milwaukee leading by 22. Pass to Maxwell. Fader on the way, and he gets the bucket. Maxwell's got 10 points in the quarter. Boy, nice floor awareness there from Sidney Moncrief. All about getting the rock to his open teammates. Out left of the wing. Here's Short. Eight points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Johnson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Bucks have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Uh, over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. The shot misses. The Warriors go the other way. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Offensively, they took no prisoners. They were on top of their game, getting just about everything they wanted at that end of the floor. And making the defense look pretty much helpless. They knew just where to go to find open shots. Now, here's Johnson. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Here's Lanier. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. An absolute force on the glass. He was not going to be denied there. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Passes it to Connor. Pick by Williams to stop the run. No good there. Bucks have gone 7 of 14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. The putback, Maxwell. It's good on the putback. Love the effort. Absolutely love it. Keeping the play alive with his activity. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. I guess Coach isn't happy right now with the distribution of shots. And some of the shots we've been seeing. My goodness, they've been contested, difficult shots. And when they're not dropping, it's time to change the game plan. You can't get too focused on forcing things. They need a better offensive rhythm right now. Mitchell, he's checked in for the Warriors. Little comes in for Williams. McKeskey's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris comes in for Robertson. Connor, on grief defending. A pass to four. There's a screen. 
to end the drought. The rebound by the Bucks. Maxwell's got six rebounds now in the game. Johnson outside. Chris with the bounce pass. Here's Maxwell. The rebound by Mitchell. Warriors shooting the ball poorly. Just 28%. The 10-footer. Short, no good. Tell you what, you can feel their frustration underneath the surface. It's actually palpable with all these misses. They're trying to shake it off, but every time they come up short, the panic starts to set in. Floyd passes a little. Connor, on grief defending, pass to short. Puts it up from 17. They get the rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Great activity level on the boards. Impressive. Wow. Frizz up top. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Warriors with the rebound. He has to be smarter there, guys. We all know he can make that shot, but the defense was right on him there. And there it is for him. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Now, Chris. Pass to Johnson. Here's Mokeski. The rebound by Mitchell. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Warriors. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Little. It's rebounded by Maxwell. Maxwell's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Chris with it. Over Mitchell. Chris gets the bucket. Chris has got his first two points of the night. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. And the Bucks making a change here. Listers checked in. Substitution on the court. Here's Floyd on the wing Brewer. Little tipped back in for two. Little's got four points this quarter. Excellent work following the play and getting there for the tip in. And now here's Chris. Pass to Maxwell. Warriors foul. The Warriors making a switch here. Herning Gomez is checked in. And then for Milwaukee, Archie Diakono is checked in. And Pressy subbed in for Johnson. Here's Archibald. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Almost, but it rolls out. The Warriors shooting 38% in the second quarter. Offensively, they look a little bit confused. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Going inside. That's tipped. Hernan Gomez against Pressy. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. The Warriors have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Hernan Gomez. Both shots good from the strike. And coach, something you appreciate, the ball distribution has been terrific in this one. 
Yeah, they've showed how efficient their offense can be when they're this unselfish. Here's Presley. Second chance shot. Got a hand on it. 129 left now here in the second. Good on the shot. They're playing well, and that's an encouraging sign. But where was this intensity earlier in the game? They're still down a bunch. Here's Archibald. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the pass to Bridgman. Over Brewer. Bridgman shots good. Some of the best court vision you've ever seen. Nate Tiny Archibald does it again. Hampton passes to Lawson. Golden State moving it around. Here's Brewer. The rebound by Archie Diacono. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Archibald passes to Bridgman. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Golden State ball. Bob Lanier. Thirty-two seconds left to play here in the half. Out to the right wing. Was in the pass to Hernan Gomez. Now here's Brewer. He's guarded closely. Lawson in the corner. Five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off the shot. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. Spreading it like butter. Woohoo! <laughs> you could not cook it up any better than that. Yeah! Delicious. From outside the arc. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll return shortly. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Warriors shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Count it, good. He's got eight. Working his way inside for a high percentage look there. Nicely done. A bumpy start to a new half for this D, though. They kind of gave that up. Now here's Robertson. Pass to Lanier. Goes back up. The Warriors pull it in. Here's Floyd. Hey, yo, right here. Over in the corner, Williams. Here's the screen. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pit allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Offensive rebound. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Excellent on the offensive boards. Johnson doesn't just grab those extra possessions. He turns them into buckets. To the wing on the left. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Takes a step back. Pass to Connor. Shoots over Moncrief. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the layup. Since his last game, he's been a machine cleaning up every chance he gets. He sure is. These past two games, his energy level has been sensational. Whether it's a putback like that or a hustle place, he's been everywhere. Here's Robertson. The Warriors making the shot. And that one, good. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. They set the screen. Here's Floyd. It's rebounded by Maxwell. 
Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Here's Robertson. And the shot is good. Robertson's got four points now in the quarter. From anywhere in the lane, Robertson's strength and quickness usually means he's the last man standing. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Bob Lillian, second personal foul. First He'll take his foul. third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Your Warriors, Joe Barry Carroll. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Milwaukee leading by 22. Low block shot on the way. It's deflected. Here's Floyd, covered by Robertson. Floyd passes to Connor. Over to the wing. Launches a three. The shot by Floyd, no good. Bucks have gone 3 of 7 on field goal attempts here in the second half. Moncrief dishes to Robertson. Robertson is double. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the four this game. Now six for ten. Strong take by Johnson. He can score anywhere on the floor. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. That's a little bit of icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. Here's Short. That was an easy call on that shot. Refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Purvis Short at the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game.
We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Robertson passes to Moncrief. Here's Lanier, and the dunk to finish it off. A uh, beauty. Yeah, Bob Lanier is so active on the glass. Got to love that. I mean, he's got a long body, knows how to use it well to get those second chance opportunities. Here's Short. He's got 10. Out to the wing. Here's Connor. Tips it up, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. 14 points for him. Persistence pays, not giving up on the play there. Yeah, you're right. He read it right. He read it well, was in position, and he made the play. This is why they teach you to box out, folks. Here's Short. He has been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. Here's Floyd. Milwaukee with the rebound. Moncrief's got four rebounds now tonight. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Hammers the alley-oop through. Look at the leaping ability of Johnson. Getting up there to finish off the alley-oop. There's a good screen. Floyd passes to Williams. Misses off the left iron. The Bucks have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Robertson is double. Here's Lanier. Five points in the game. Clock at six. Here's Moncrief. That's in coming off the assist from Robertson. Robertson's got six assists in the game. Moncrief can do it all. His game is without a hold. Floyd passes to Williams. Golden State moving it around. Passes to Short over Johnson. It's rebounded by Maxwell. Maxwell's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Now here's Robertson. Defense right on him. Tries again. Golden State foul call. Timeout called time out, the Bucks. The chance here for the players to get a much needed break, catch their breath, and for the coach to make some adjustments. Yeah, he saw something out there that he wants to change. We'll see how it plays out on the floor. Lester's checked in for the Bucks. Harrison comes in for Moncrief. And Milwaukee has possession. Johnson, the pass to Robertson. Warriors with the rebound.
Here's Prots. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Brewer, the pass to Howard. Shot clock at six. 16 feet away. Prots gets the bucket. Well, if you want the mid-range, it's normally there. And it's Harrison with the ball for Milwaukee. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Over to the left wing. Johnson outside. Fades away. And no good that time. The Warriors have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is how tenacious Floyd is. Outstanding at attracting contact on the way up. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucks? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. When it comes to his play, Floyd is anything but sleepy. He makes this offense go. And the Warriors making a change here. Lawson's checked in. Second free throw, no good. The Bucks have gone 7 for 16 in the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. The pass to Chris. Here's Mokeski. Nice move. And it's good on the way in. Mokeski's got seven. Excellent vision on display, dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Here's Prots. Covered by Chris. Here's Floyd. And the shot is long. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Spins. Chris passed to Bridgman. Here's Lister. And it's sent back by Howard. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Hampton's checked in for Floyd. Clock at four. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Here's Bridgman. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Rocks the pass to Howard. And he drops it in from the low post. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Chris up top. Teardrop shot, and Lawson with the block. And here is Hampton. And Lawson gets it to go on the assist by Hampton. Teams love hammering the ball inside and getting easy looks. Bucks leading by 22. Now Chris. Over Hampton. The offensive rebound. Lister and finish off by Lister. Can't allow them to burn you on the offensive glass there. That's simply on the defense in my mind. Well, like coaches always say, remember to box out. When you don't, this is what happens. Now, here's Howard. Pass to Bratz. The rebound by Lister. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he's still got to make these shots, in my opinion. Chris kicks to Pressy. Fader on the way. He doesn't hit that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Here's
Here's Bratz. Here's Howard. Gets it to fall from the right block. Howard's got his second basket of the night. Nice pass, creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Timeout called the Bucks. Mitchell, he's checked in for the Warriors. Only three games until the start of the playoffs. Let's see how the West will be won. We'll take a look at the Warriors. They're holding the edge for the last playoff slot. I am sure they'd feel better if they could jump up a couple rankings. And Milwaukee has possession. Here's Archibald. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Another shot. Bridgman shots good. Well, they look confused and lost out there. Just getting out hustled every trip. And there is no excuse for that. You have to show more heart when it comes to closing out plays. Watson well, the pass to Mitchell. Two minutes remaining in the third. Now, here's Brewer. Not a lot of room. Six on the shot clock. Banked in off the glass. I like the determination there. Got good position and didn't take any chances. Finished right at the basket. They set the pick to the left side wing. Here's Archibald. Goes up at the stripe. Good D by Mitchell. The Warriors shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Hampton passes to Bronx. Lawson kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Brewer. Golden State moving it around. Pulls up. High post. Tressy with the rebound. Bucks leading by 22. Passes it to Archibald. Goes up from the top of the key. It doesn't go for him. Here's the Warriors with the ball. Into the lane. Brewer pushes to Hampton. Mitchell up top. Over to the left wing. Here's Brewer. Rebound Milwaukee. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he had the space and is capable of making it. And there's the pass to Bridgman. Pass to Lister, over Lawson, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Mitchell's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Prots. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Bucks ahead, running away with it. 
We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Bucks leading by 22. Roberts in left side. Pass to Bridgman. Back to Robertson. That one doesn't drop. The Warriors go the other way with it. Here's Prots. Passes it to Connor. Ball's knocked loose. They set the pick. Here's Short. And it's good off the glass. Short's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Warriors. Robertson right side. Carries it down low. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Prots, covered by Robertson. Williams passes to Short. Tries it from 19. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Short's got four this quarter. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Robertson with it. There's the pass to Bridgman. Back to Robertson. Sidney Moncrief on the wing. And what a play. Just snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Here's Short. Milwaukee with the rebound. Maxwell's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Robertson up top. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Short. It's deflected. Here's Maxwell. Takes it inside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Shoots from 14. That shot off. The Bucks go the other way with it. Pass to Bridgman. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact, he'll head to the line. And Bridgman is a real jolt of energy for this team. He's a guy who can score in a hurry. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And the Warriors making a change here. Floyd's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Timeout, Timeout called the Warriors. The interior defense has been very subpar, and I bet their coach is letting them know about it. Allowing far too many points in the painted area. They need to put forth more of an effort defensively.
And with this break in the action, let's take a look at our player of the game. A well, no-brainer choice here. I mean, given how incredible he's played, just decimated the defense and did whatever he wanted to. No doubt in anybody's mind that this award was going to him. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. Checked in for Milwaukee. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Short. Pulls it from 20. That one drops for him. Short's got six here in this quarter. Bucks leading by 22. Now here is Moncrief. Pass to Lanier. It's tipped. Connor, who's guarded by Maxwell. Here's short. The 17 footer goes down. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. We have a step back. Robertson, the open shot by Johnson. That's in, coming off the assist from Robertson. 16 points for Johnson. Nice work from the mid-range. Johnson is creative at finding space to get his shot off. Out to the right wing. Here's Short. He's guarded by Johnson. Tries from 16, and it's Golden State with another. Well, he needs help. Scoring-wise, his teammates need to do something. The Bucks have gone 3 of 8 here in the fourth quarter. Moncrief up top. Stripped away. Passes it to four. Looking to get it going, and it's sent back by Robertson. Moncrief, the pass to Maxwell. He blocks it again. Here's short. Moncrief defending. Now the pass to four. Pass to Connor. Shot clock at six. To the right side. Fires high post. He squares up and sinks it. You can't sleep on Sleepy now from the mid-range because that's when he'll make you pay. Bucks leading by 18. Robertson outside. A shot by Johnson, no good. Warriors have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. And he drives in. Bucks foul. Sydney Michael. Second personal foul. First team foul. Milwaukee on D. Down low. And Lanier is a solid defender, a guy who really gets after it and gets after the opposition as well. And he's going up for the alley-oop. So good to see two guys on the same page like this. I know, it's like you and I, it's like they finish each other's sentences. Yeah, we know that feeling. Oh, we do. Or in this case, one finishing off the other's perfectly thrown pass. Robertson outside. Takes it off the glass. Here's Floyd. 
Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for them. And they need to recover as soon as possible. And a miss there on the triple. That might as well be a layup if you give him that much space. You have to do a better job of taking away space from him, especially when he's lining up at a three. Now here's Robertson. Pass to Maxwell. Clock at six. Looks like a foul out of frustration right there. Yeah, that's not a good foul. Just letting his emotions run a little wild. Timeout called the Bucks. Bucks call timeout. Johnson outside. Back to Moncrief. Five on the clock. Robertson drives in. No good on that one. The Warriors have gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Passes to four. And there's the pass to short. to Connor over Moncrief some solid defense from Moncrief you know he's taking shot after shot after shot but still can't break out of this cold streak at this point it's all mental he's in his own head not letting the shots come naturally and the defense was ready for that they know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup here's short he's guarded by Johnson can they get it? He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Short's got 12 points now in the quarter. Milwaukee leading by 20. Robertson passes to Moncrief. Johnson down low. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. When the inside defense tries to cut Johnson off, he recommits to the play and gives them some physicality right back. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And we all know how explosive a scorer Johnson can be. And it's because of how much confidence he has in himself. The Warriors making a switch here. Lawson's checked in.
He hits the second from the line. Warriors trail by 21. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. There's the pick. Here's short. Second chance shot. And Lawson with the lay-in. Love the hustle there. Extending the possession, just generating offense. Robertson outside. Offensive rebound, Johnson. That miss puts him at 53% shooting tonight. 8 for 15. Pass to Floyd. He feeds it to Lawson. To the wing on the left. Here's Short. That one off the back iron and out. Milwaukee leading by 19. Robertson passes to Mike. Here's Foy to the inside. That one's not going to go. Some solid defense from Moncrief. And here is Robertson. Passes it to Johnson. Shoots a fader. And that one is off. They got a great look. Close in. Sometimes the ball just doesn't go through the hoop. Short drops in the layup for two. Short's got 24. That's what you want from ball movement. Get the defense moving and find the chance inside. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. up the alley -oop pass and stolen by Lawson here's Foy fades rebounded by the Bucks. he tried to use the fadeaway get a little space not an easy shot to drain two minutes remaining in the game two minutes now here is Moncrief guarded close count that one and the Bucks lead by 19. This one's close to being over. I think if they get a couple stops, this game is toast. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the fourth. Short, no good. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. 
There's the pick. Here's Moncrief. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Not quite sure if Moncrief will take the shot or pass it when you're defending him. That time the defense a little too tight there. At the line for two. Shooting two. That's good for Moncrief. You know, what makes Moncrief so great beyond the athleticism, consistency, smarts, toughness, two-way playability, is his amazing strength for a guard. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. And it's Lawson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Bucks. Clark, it seemed like they did everything well tonight. Yeah, you could point to a lot of things, Kevin. You could talk game plan. You could talk execution. But they were just a more talented team. That's what the deal was. And they took charge when it counted. And they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And it's good. Two points. And the Bucks lead by 20. You know, next time he has that much space, he should just go straight up with it and leave the fadeaway at home. Park that fadeaway. Take the shot that's available. Here's Floyd. Here's Short. And count it from 19 feet away. And it's got to be frustrating that they're finally starting to play like this, being this one is basically done. Well, hopefully they can take this energy into the next one because I don't see them coming away with the victory tonight. No good from Robertson. The pass to short. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the final quarter. The second effort, and he sinks the layup. Short's got 30. Effort is a skill, and one he possesses in abundance. Robertson outside. From the high post. Good work there as it goes. Well, I tell you what, they've got to be proud of their performance coming into enemy territory and taking the win. Impressive. And it was a decisive victory at that. They've made a lot of fans unhappy here in this arena. Here's Floyd. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Uh, Coach, this certainly was not the game that these fans, or you and I, came here to see. No, sir. This was really a clinic put on at the fans' expense. Hard to have a good time when your team is just beat out there. But you and I had a good time nonetheless, didn't we? We always do. <laughs> and that'll do it, folks. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.